All right, this one's gonna be on Anti Micro. It's a program to map your keyboard hotkeys to, uh, you know, the game controller. Because some games they don't support game controllers at all. All right, so I'm giving you an example of a game here. This one is called Crack Attack, and it's good. I mean, I did a video on this like a long time ago, multiple years ago. <laughs> um, but you can actually play with your keyboard, no no problems. Now the issue is that you know you can't play with your game controller, so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna map uh, like hotkeys here so really simple this game is just up down left right to move around and uh, space is to uh, switch the boxes and I think enter is to move it up and it's also uh, escape to get out of the game right uh, so that's what we're gonna map real simple so let's close this off here and we're gonna bust out anti micro uh, I believe this program is cross uh, platform so you can use it on the Windows and I believe Mac too. Anyways, um, all you gotta do is well, make sure you have your you know controller and your drivers, whatever it is that you do with your controller set up. And uh, I'm using Xbox Wireless 360 controller here. That we made a video last time to set it up. If you missed that, I'll post it in the description. But anyways, um, in here you can see that it shows up on my Xbox controller uh, up top here and to uh, select a new profile you click on this little drop down menu and click on new and in here uh, pretty simple make sure you turn on your controller right and all you gotta do is hit the buttons that you want to map it to so this one is up uh, so we hit up and then this one says uh, button one here so you click on button one and then you say I want to hit this one for up and then down uh, this one is two so you do down left is three here so on and so forth, that's four. And to uh, switch the boxes, I like to use um, this green button here. So what the hell is this? Get the right one. This one is button five. So the switch boxes is space. And to move the boxes up, I like to use uh, the R button. So that's 10 here. Um, what was that? Enter or in this case, return here, right? and also to get back or escape out of this i like to use the uh well like here it says the back button but most people say select right so i'm gonna hit the select button here and 13 here and that one is what is that escape so hit escape there and also in the beginning of the game you have to hit tab to uh scroll through the fields so i like to bind that to uh, the l1 here and that's button 9 so that one is tab and that's pretty much it. I mean, there's other stuff you can do with this program if you want to map like a, you know, a joystick uh, or analog stick here. Uh, you can do that. But in this game, it's pretty simple. It's just a bunch of hotkeys only. Uh, obviously, if you have other games you want to do more than what I just, I just did, right? But anyways, after you're done with your profile, uh, you want to save as here, and you want to save it. You know, give it a name. So I'm gonna call this one Crack Attack. If I spell it right here, Crack crack attack and underscore we're using the Xbox controller so that's what I like to use right crack attack and then we'll save it and that's pretty much it uh, make sure you select it uh, you know from this menu here to know what games you're using so right now we want to use the crack attack Xbox and there we go and to get rid of this you just click on the icon up top here and I'll you know hide the window but after that you just bust out your um, your game again and to test it uh, we're gonna use tab here to move around right there we go and then you hit the thing to start and then here's the game Let me turn the volume a little bit uh, turn the volume again all right so let's play this here pretty simple right you go boop. Uh, uh, I talked about this game a long time ago. It is still one of you know the good open source uh, puzzle games that I like to play uh, from time to time. Anyways, you get the idea. It works. And let's say we get out of here. Hit select here. Do it again. And we'll hit tab. And then we'll quit it. Right. Pretty simple. Now the good thing about using uh, you know the uh, anti micro. And they had like different profiles for different games and stuff like that. 
is that uh, they have command line options and if you're using like a front end like um, what was that emulation station or some people use the uh, Kodi um, ROM collector browser or Laka or any other front end you want you can make a launcher out of this for a specific game uh, and you have your mapping right there uh, and that's why I'm going to use the command line for this so pretty simple I'm going to quit out of this and I'll show you the commands to run this here uh, well let me show you the man page for this first but this one is anti uh, micro right um, first of all we're going to use the uh, dash dash tray this one sends it to your system tray up top here you know up top of the tray and next thing is that uh, we're definitely going to use the profiles so every uh, you know uh, what was that when you do a save as you have different profiles for different games so we're going to point it to a location of it and also we didn't use a daemon uh, to send it to the background when we launch uh, the program um, you can do other stuff like for example if you have other controllers not just the Xbox but you have maybe a PS3 or whatever then you can actually do a profile controller uh, I, I don't have anything else so I can't really show you that but there's more options in here of course if you want to do that anyways read up in here if you want to do um, other controllers all right but the command I would use and this is a single command you can actually write a script out of this if you want but this is how I would do it uh, I do a kill all anti micro so we're gonna kill any existing uh, program uh, for anti micro and then we're gonna run anti micro the dash D for Damon we want to send it to a tray and we also use a profile and the profile that we want to use was uh, the uh, crack attack underscore Xbox that uh, we created right so this is the whole file that they have for you here and then we do and then we're going to run our uh, game which is called crack attack here and at the end it's going to wait for the game to exit uh, and then once the game exit it's going to kill any existing uh, anti micro basically it's going to kill this process here uh, for our profile so then we can load up another game and it'll load up another profile and so on and so forth uh, quite simple actually so anyways let's start this up here all right and then there we go we have our games here and you know you can use uh, our buttons and everything and now we can play the game so that's the reason why I um, wanted to um, use this program because I think it's the one of the only ones that's actually good at mapping and it has a command line option uh, if they didn't have the command line option I would probably look at something else but it does have the command line option and I'm definitely gonna use it with either uh, emulation station or any other front end for games that does not have um, mappings for you know your um, controller here anyways that is the program should be might not be in your repositories actually but uh you can get it either uh if you're on the ubuntu's maybe in a ppa in arch linux um should be in the aur that's it for this one